This hunk of cherry burr weighed quite a lot and it had been hanging around for about six or nine months so I decided to attack it. First thing was to get the Arbitec mini grinder and get a flat bottom. Uh, the piece was about 40 centimetres across and uh, I needed to cut it down to around about 35 centimetres in the round. It's a bit out of balance. Well, 250 revs, let's see if I can get any of this off. Pretty gnarly and bouncy to start off with. It was very hard and uh, dense, so it took a long while. Now time to flatten off the tenon and do a bit of texturing. Used the Sorby texturing wheel, but forgot to video it. So to try and see if I could get uh, something out of the core, I've mounted it with the woodcut bowl saver using the Axminster Mega Jaws, uh, just to uh, make sure it doesn't come off the lathe and very slowly uh, cord it out. came out quite clean uh, but the centre had got quite a lot of bark inclusions and rot so going to be a bit of a challenge making much out of the saved core. There's still a lot of meat left around the sides which I'll have to uh, get rid of. Um, hopefully the, uh, the bottom piece, the piece that's come out, will um, be salvageable with some resin in due course. Before I tackled the rest of the inside I had sanded uh, and sealed with some sanding sealer uh, the outside and also soaked the bark in some super glue. Now the inside had got some significant inclusions so I wanted to make sure this wasn't going to fly apart on me. So uh, very slowly and carefully using the bowl gouge to start with I uh, cord out the rest of the bowl centre. This is going to be very slow. And then using the carbides, these are the Glen Teagle ones with some negative rake uh, cutters on. Just simpler given all the bouncing around that the bowl gouge is having on the inclusions. So that was going okay, getting a reasonable finish, but getting a bit bored, so I thought I'd try my micro bevel half inch bowl gouge, uh, 70 degree front grind, and that actually worked really well, giving a really good finish on the bottom, even despite the inclusions. And then some considerable time later, there's no point having these tools unless you use them, I've uh, sharpened up the Simon Hope uh, scraper with a nice spur and uh, yeah that also worked well. So here it is after I've bunged uh, three or four bottles of super glue on it and also um, filled it with some copper dust, some ebony shavings and some coffee grounds. I wanted to try and leave quite a lot of the voids visible but also wanted the bottom to be glued up so that it was solid because this here was getting very close to that there I didn't want the whole lot to crack at some point so it's soaked in super glue on the bark at the moment and just got to let it dry overnight and hopefully it will um, be okay and then sand it up and see what it looks like. The super glue and filling operations took place over a couple of days and then sealed with cellar sanding sealer and three coats of satin lacquer cut back between each one and there we have it. 
It is quite chunky and heavy in order to make sure it doesn't fall apart in the future. Uh, but uh, yeah, really successful, if somewhat time-consuming project.